we, we sort of, we have the stock index is down, you know, 0.3, 0 0.4% this morning. As you guys were just discussing, there's some data out there that didn't really impress people in terms of retail sales. By the same token, this is not one of those big sell-offs. I mean, the market really seemed to shrug off these downgrades yesterday. If you guys recall, Moody's actually downgraded, I think it was uh, six Eurozone governments, mm. and they also issued the first warning to the UK. So when you kind of hear these bullish strategists out there saying, you know, there's no contagion, there's nothing to see here, everyone knows the extent of this problem, go home. <laughs> right. You know, here you have like a, a downgrade of a government that supposedly has nothing, to, or not a downgrade, a warning, excuse me. Right, and, and, and the market is yawning at it, yeah. which sort of lets you think that if they're yawning at this point, that maybe we're setting ourselves up for a late day rally possibly, you know, where we can maybe have one of those days where we close in the positive. Yeah. And can you, continuing this, sort of hot streak that the market's been on. Yeah, I mean, that, that certainly has been the trend where you kind of see these small sell-offs that turn into small rallies by the, by the, by the end of the day. Um, I mean, certainly there's nothing, I don't know what you guys think, there's nothing really big out there weighing on sentiment right now, although you do get a lot of opinion that it's time for the markets to take a breather. Um, this morning I was just looking at some technical analyses of, of the so-called SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. Some of the technicals there, you know, might, might start to look a little bit tired. You might see a, a small sell-off just for that reason. It's mm -hmm. a great point. I think a lot of people are pointing to, you know, it's time. We've had a 20% rally off the October lows. Uh, a, a small correction here or there, uh, and a mini correction would not be surprising. But yeah. a lot of people don't think that this is the end, though, that if you do have that small blip, uh, the market will still bounce back. But, uh, you know, you're talking about all the, the news in Europe. You know, in, 20, in 2011, if we got this news in 2011, oh my <laughs> God, the markets would have sold off. People would have just, you know, ran away. I mean, it would have been a disaster. And yeah. it's the exact opposite now. Yeah, for, for, for reasons that are not clear to me, because, you know, may, may, maybe except just the idea that it's not new, a new concept to think about anymore, the markets are a lot more comfortable with that stuff. What are some of the drags on the market today? It looked like Bank of America was down a lot on a downgrade earlier today. Yeah, that's right. That was that was kind of one of the day's underperformers. You did see that Apple, I know you guys are going to be talking about later, Apple was one of the companies that was kind of fighting the trend. I think they, they had posted a slight um, gain. Um, you know, so obviously that's going to help the NASDAQ since they're, they're kind of right. heavily weighted there. And, and Avon Products had an interesting day. The pre-market, they were down more than 3% on bad earnings, said something on the call uh, that, that turned the stock around. We're, we're thinking maybe it's the comments about giving the new CEO complete autonomy going forward because as they are looking for a new leader, but it swung the stock around and now it's, it's plus three. So it's one of the, one of the more interesting stocks on, right. on the day. You're seeing the, the correlations. Everything was so tightly correlated in 2011. It seemed like the market just moved in. Everything moved in one direction. And now you're seeing more individual company news. It's really having an impact now on these stocks as opposed to just moving in lockstep. Yeah. And, you know, the other factor that I think is may, maybe playing a little bit of a role in there. Obviously, you know, the change, the change this year in investor sentiment is the key reason and you see that, but we started out this earnings season very weak. I saw a data point yesterday, or I shouldn't say very weak, I mean certainly weaker than the right. trend. Mm -hmm. um, I saw this interesting data point yesterday that strictly by the numbers, S&P component companies are now just approaching that 70% beat level that has been typical. So I don't know wow. if that's a function of, wow. of, the, of the bar being lowered enough <laughs> that we're getting back up there, but uh, cer certainly this, this earnings period isn't shaping up as weak as, as you know, I certainly feared.